Okay, proper game, 10 minutes. Utilizing the new stuff. Nice little sacrifice there, let's go here. Okay, so there's a way to actually do this and I'm actually going to go here first. And then go here second. And then here. So your opponent's going fast now because they're a bit worried. And go here with an x ray through to their rook. Bishop's out attacking. It's like a frenzied attack. Trying to confuse the situation. Let's grab here. Let's just squeeze in this little tiny gap here. Us off. How rude. It's just squeezing this gap here. And he's had enough. He's had enough of feeling squished. But that's the process for this particular development. Let's go here now, grab. Let's just squeeze the queen in a little bit. Let's just, we could grab, we could grab that queen. You know, I feel like we're going to grab the queen, take it off the board. It, it's worked really hard in that game. Let's go here now with the knight opponents moving so fast they, it's almost like they're annoyed because they took the early pawn the sacrifice but somehow it didn't seem to improve their position we've got castled the opponent now their king is all airy so they're moving so fast just bring the rook here protect him and just bring the knight up here okay so it looks scary with them moving quick but I'm going to take my time. Just going to bring this knight across. This is the type of stuff these, he's doing like their own answer process in terms of right, let's be menacing. I'm going to bring the knight here, attacking the bishop with the support of the pawn. If he sacrifices his rook, I suppose that's all good. So just check, we do have a free pawn here, we could actually take the free pawn first, then come back and attack the bishop. That's an interesting situation. Do have the knight that can come here and it's putting like a 2 on 1 on this, so does the rook sacrifice itself again? Options. I'm actually going to take the pawn rather than the bishop on this occasion, because they've gone in here and they've trapped their own bishop in. So. Um, just going to come here now, attack the bishop again, but I might not take it. This pawn here has got protection from the knight, so he's trying to blast his way through the center. I'm actually now going to take the bishop off the board. I can move my knight quite freely to here. If he takes, then we exchange the rooks. Probably not going to, going to be supporting this pawn. So let's, let's take there. Let's push onto this pawn. He may take just to support. And let's just grab here. So they're just going absolutely crazy. They're, they're doing the right stuff because obviously look at the position on the board. You know they're looking quite menacing. Um, but to me. 
it's soulless chest that they're playing. It's just whack, 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 and you know, it's um, to me, it don't, it's not winning any um, awards. Let's go here. Let's take that. Move the king. So it's going to be putting a check on. Yep. Yeah. Let's put another check on, but we'll take the rook. And this is saying nothing now because this is where and there we go yeah so i knew with the moving that fast they, they couldn't be finding the most precise it looks awesome you know when they do it that quick it really does it looks like they're doing everything right they've got a fairly looks like a fairly decent position but it's way too fast um this is a 10 minute game and they were playing it like it was bullet and even the grandmasters when they're playing they're not finding the best moves when they're playing bullet they miss miss all sorts of stuff so when you're playing that fast it is frightening but for me now looking at what the three key areas for my game in development i'm hoping i don't fall fall foul of that too often um i will lose against super fast players because you know some of them do find those brilliant positions this guy was but taking that moment to just have a look at what is actually going on on the board and looking at our own answer process and trying to provide a solution to their answer process, then that's the key thing for me.